All right, guys. Hello, hello. As always, welcome back to Ultra Keller Real Estate. Thank for all support, all subscribers. Greatly appreciate it. So I know some of you guys probably heard this term before about being house poor, but the same thing applies to investments. Don't be investment poor. Like, don't have all your money tied up in one investment when it comes to buying a property and you literally cannot do nothing else. Or you're running on so thin of a margin that if one bad thing happens, I mean, that could set you back for three, four, five, six months. You know, and we've all done it in some way, shape, or form where we stretch ourselves way too thin and we're trying to figure out how to pay for this, how to pay for that, trying to rob Peter to pay Paul, etc. You know, it's one of the easiest things to get involved with. Like, you know, when you think that you can handle more than what you actually can. Even when you do a good assessment of a property, you know, you have, you know, somebody come through doing an inspection, like, you know, they look at this, they look at that. You just never know what can happen. Or better yet, you just never know what already has happened to the property. And when the inspector came through, they couldn't really identify every little thing that was wrong with it. Or issues that you would have known or that you already did know that were wrong with the property. You thought they weren't that big of a deal. And so now when it comes time to fix it, once you own it, now they actually are a lot bigger deal than what you initially thought. You know, we've all been through that. And especially, you know, there's certain things that cost money, anything with plumbing, electricity. You know, you want to make sure that all those things are top notch whenever you buy something because you don't want to be investment poor to where now you're just stuck with it. You know, so many things wrong with it. You got to fix this. You got to fix that. And pretty much, you know. It's just a bad situation, all right? So don't stretch yourself too thin. Make sure you're not investment poor. No different than being house poor when you're buying something that you can't afford, but you can't really afford it, all right? Quick video today. Got more videos coming up soon. As always, thank you for all support. If you're watching on YouTube, you can find me on Instagram at Ultra Kellen. And if you're watching on Instagram, you can find me on YouTube at Ultra Kellen Real Estate. All right, guys, till next time.